So, I have these two nice backpacks and they have this very nice feature is that they're quite accessible when you open them up. Um, but currently I need to put it on the floor and open it up and access stuff and like same with the other one. Right, open it up and then use one hand. No, put it on the floor, maybe put it on the table. Annoying, right? So, also I want them to have a place somewhere where they're like accessible from any location and where I can I just put stuff in them as I, you know, prepare for the day and then just grab them and go, right? So this place here is actually perfect for it because it's both between the living room and my bedroom and, uh, you know, the door is just behind you. So that's the way out. So, you know, put stuff in here and grab them and leave, right? What I intend on doing is make a rack where I can put both backpacks and I don't want to dirty the wall behind it with the backpacks, so I'm also going to have a little storage space behind the backpacks when I put them up here. So let me show you in CAD what I plan to do. Okay, so this is basically the piece of the wall that we're working with. And I created a sketch that outlines roughly where I want the backpacks to be. So the things that you see on the left side are the backpacks, and as you can see I'm going to put both of them up. And basically the one on top is the one that I can access and modify and put stuff in and take stuff out. Whereas the bottom one is stored there and I can swap them out if I, if I want to swap them out. Um, and so I said I'm also going to put storage in the back. Specifically I'll be just putting racks for uh, IKEA assembler boxes there. So there will be six that will be fitting in the back. So let's, um, yeah, let's add some bodies. So that's one Samla. And it kind of like has this structure where uh, it's narrower at the bottom and it has this lip that's uh, not just cover, but also the lip is there on the entire box. And so what we can do is we can take two pieces of wood and just put the Samla on two pieces of wood and slide them in and out. Um, so let's repeat that for the bottom group. And let's also repeat that for the top group. And this is where the Samlas will be. Um, and next, uh, let me add the side walls. So for the side ports, we will have to make a cutout for the flange at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'll have to also like put the edge band on them. Um, finally, we're gonna have a top plate and a hook uh, by which we will hang up the backpacks. Um, and we will of course repeat this a second time. And then finally, to prevent this from falling off the wall and also to prevent shear left and right, because currently there is not much in way of preventing shear to left and right, I'm gonna put a screw in the wall and uh, attach one of those IKEA things that uh, you know you can use to attach furniture to the wall. Um, the same that I used in the previous project. So let's get cracking. You know these moments when you do something where you understand how the world works and you feel like you grow as a person? Well, it's one of those moments for me. So what we have to do is we have to attach these two things in the right angle, like this, right? And so up until now my approach would have just been to drill a hole from there and to insert a screw and pop your uncle, right? But what that would mean is that we would have a screw sticking, well not sticking out, but we'd have a screw on the other side that's visible. And well, my mom recently told me that my house looks too much like a workshop and that it should look more elegant. And so obviously the elegant thing is not to show the screw. And the most elegant way to do this, at least the way that all of the um, furniture companies seem to do it, especially IKEA, 
is with these things, right? The way that these things work is that we insert this into the woods here and we screw this in here and then we can just put them together and then we have to twist this thing. So if this is not clear, uh, I think you should know this from personal experience, but if this is not clear, I'm gonna show this of course. But first I need to do something else because actually the, these parts that I found at my dad's workshop, they're too long. Like they would actually be sticking out. <laughs> so I guess I have to make them shorter. Okay, well, I'm definitely not IKEA. Oh wow, oh wow. I broke it. That's why you have spares. Okay, but that works nicely. Ah, uh, okay. Getting somewhere. Alright, I'm not going to turn this through because I'm afraid that this is going to break again. I think it's not deep enough, but it holds. So, let's hope that they succeed in making the other ones better. Yeah, and now I need a break. Nice.
<laughs> that was fun. You see that? <laughs> right, no more time. If you ever assembled any IKEA, you should know this. All right, so we need edge band. The hooks that are gonna come in here and here. We need the thing to attach it to the wall back there. Finally, we're gonna need all the ribs. We're gonna hang up the samlas. And I think I'll do all of that tomorrow. I think this is a bit deeper because the screws are a bit short. So if I just put them on top, they would barely hold. So I have to put them lower, but not too low, otherwise they stick out on the other side. Now actually, I have to remember which one is which, because each of them is going to be unique. Oh wow, okay. Let's just do them. So, series by this and not series by work stuff. That's a bit annoying, it's gonna take a bit more work time, but it's fine. No. I decided bigger holes for the through holes and try to be precise and that should do the trick otherwise it's too much work and besides I might want to swap out these as I realized later so let's do that instead Series by two is just so much better. Clean. Excellent. Now, the other side. I think I still have to draw it. Yeah, I only drew one line, so this is gonna take a second. So I'll be right back. Actually, I think this will be so quick I can even film it because I don't need to measure anything, I can just transfer. Uh, let me know, make sure. Nice, right? Things are 
If you can see it, yeah, you can see it. It's not focused. Focus, you. F there we go. Not cool, but yeah, that's why maybe a thicker board would have been better. Okay, cool. Almost done. Now the hooks and the edge bands. Some shearing action, but that's fine. All right, let's not get too excited. This isn't done yet. I still have to do the edge bending here and here and here and up here, but uh, I have to take a lot apart for that actually. Um, I should have done the edge bending before putting these on, but oh well, hindsight is twenty twenty. But let's just try things on and see how it fits. Nice. It holds, all right, good.
Okay, and that's already it. So let's test it out. I hope the screws are strong enough to hold the backpacks. Great. Now I can just uh, access stuff, opening it up, and yeah. I was doing some sports today, get rid of that stuff. Anywho, organized however. Also, as I said, in the back we have the storage space, and I've already thought about what I'm going to put there actually. So these are things that go into the backpacks whenever I leave and things that maybe I don't want to forget. So glasses and cases for glasses on the top. And yeah, actually this is not perfect, it like wobbles around a little bit, but it doesn't fall through at least. So I think what I'll do maybe at some point is to make these things a bit wider. Just use wider wood for that. Sunscreen. Contact lenses, stuff for traveling, and maybe actually one lower, and stuff for driving the car. And the bottom one I haven't designed yet, so I'll put something in there, I think. And yeah, we can also do the other way around, this backpack at the bottom, and this one on top. Also nicely, nicely accessible. Put in stuff. Leads forward a little bit, actually. Maybe there would be some solution to that. But anyway, that's it for today. So I hope you got something out of this video, and see you next time.